Hey people, before I will be showing you this new video tutorial, uh, I'm very sorry about the bad uh, voice quality. Um, after I made uh, the tutorial, uh, <coughs> I just uh, uh, heard that uh, I was using uh, the wrong um, microphone. I was using the in intern microphone in my laptop, which which actually wasn't working properly, but now it actually is. But um, so. Um, because it's a long uh, video and requested a long time uh, for a long time I'm just going to upload it and see what I'm going to, to do and um, uh, if you can't understand what I what I'm saying it's just because the, the microphone is very bad so uh, sorry for that um, maybe um, a, a, an updated version of this tutorial will be uh, online uh, maybe tomorrow if I if I want to so um, enjoy this video Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you finally how to make a coaster um, on the professional way, so without a coaster tool. And um, it looks uh, very cool. I will show you just in a minute uh, how uh, what, what you can make with this uh, uh, with this method. Um, this video was actually uh, requested a very long time ago. But I didn't know why I actually didn't make a, a video eventually. So um, I'm opening uh, an example place of what you can make with this method. Okay, I'm still working on this coaster, but this is what you can make. Oops, that will. My headset dead. All right, sorry for that. Um, let's finish off. Um, so remember, it's still not done, and I'm still working on it. But for now, it's actually pretty cool looking, and those are um, the cars that are driving on the tracks. So, um, yeah, let me uh, show you one more example. This one is actually done already. This one is pretty well. You can make something like this, but this is an actual uh, remake uh, of um, a real coaster in uh, Holland, the Efteling. So this is actually a dark ride and um, a splash ride uh, in one coaster. So um, it all starts in, um, in the dock. So this is your car actually, and then you go in and you like in the open sea in the middle of the night with a lot of fog and smoke and everywhere you can't breathe and stuff and then eventually you come out of this tower and um, then you ride the coaster and then at the end you have a nice splash with the car you come with a, a speed of 50 to 60 kilometers an hour I don't know how much miles that is but um, yeah you'll get wet in real life. Um, it is called the Flying Dutchman. Uh, if you want to check it out you can uh, look on YouTube for on rides and POVs. So um, um, this is also the uh, same method that I'm going to show you right now and I hope uh, you can understand it and learn very fast. So let's head over to an empty place. So right now you want to open, um, uh, you want to take this model, this, uh, the link will be in the description. This model is a kit made by me, um, it makes it easy to uh, make uh, courses such as I showed you. So uh, you want to insert this in your place. 
well, this is the actual card. I don't know if you do this again. This is your actual card. Uh, you wanna unmodel this and take this away. Okay. Uh, you wanna select this. This is going to be spy and this one. Okay. So, um, the actual bad thing about this method is that you have to make it in, in, in place solo, so not in edit, because in edit you don't have tools, and here you do. Um, as I said, it's not they are not coaster tools where you can make coasters in five minutes, but really ugly and no no supports and stuff so um, these are other tools I'm going to show you just in a minute so tools test play solo let's go to the output okay So this is an, uh, a really uh, small example of what you can make for uh, a little beginning for you. Um, and this is your actual workplace you will be working in. I've got a little leg, so one moment. Okay, it's very laggy, but I hope it's not my PC. Maybe there's something in front of the fan of my laptop. Yes, there is. Okay, I hope this is causing the problem. So we'll work on. You wanna take all the stuff that is inside of this, uh, inside of this brick, and uh, these are your actual tools you will be getting. There's only one problem: I didn't get any of tools. You, you are also uh, able to gain these tools. I will fix this in the new version of the model. Um, just if you take it, you get this, uh, you get those two tools. So for now, I'm just placing them in my backpack. There we go. And um, this is your, uh, your like uh, conveyor where your car will be pushed on. Um, you want to open this uh, scraps inside it. <coughs> change it back to 20. This is the speed of the car. If we go and cut. So uh, copy copy it, delete it and paste it again so it gets refreshed. Because in play solo um, they don't refresh instantly you have to remove them and paste them again. So um, take this model with you and place it right here. Just like this. I'm lagging, okay, it's back. Um, make sure it goes that way, that way, this way. So if you stand on it, you go to the left. Okay, so let's start off with um, a little, uh, I don't know how you call it, I call it a dock for now. Place where you can uh, get in the car while you actually stand still. So select your copy tool and you want to copy um, your workplace. Yes. Okay. Now, um, when the car go uh, begins uh, the ride, I wanna I want it to go to the uh, left. So copy, and then um, go to precise rotate. Um, the keys for this rotate tool are uh, Z, V, um, let me think, X. T, Y, and U. Um, I hope you can see uh, uh, you can see the buttons on the screen right now. And um, you actually have to try and uh, see what what button you need to turn your brake. So um, I know for uh, heading left or right, you need to use Y and U. So um, 
if you look on here from here where your character will be standing you will be going to the left so that means you have to use U for the right you need to use Y it's actually the opposite so we'll press on U and then click twice on your on the brick you want to rotate like this well select your copy tool again and copy it right next to it Precise rotate and click it twice copy twice copy twice whoops if you do this really fast you get a little used to this you can make actually really good coasters okay this is good for now this is my little turn this is how the coaster will actually uh, be turning so right now I want the lift hill so we want it to go up so copy it again and one more feature and I want to use X for T I'll try X, no it's T so T to go up and X to go down so uh, going up like this I don't want it anymore so this will be on the left hill and we'll do a couple of more this and now I want to go down again so we copy press on X as I teach you and click it twice step 3 twice three, once, three. my mistake and I clicked that three times so I delete it So this is your action descent. Your first fall. Not that. There you go. So just an example, but this is how it's going to look like. And now we want to go up again. Press four and then on T. Click it twice. I recommend only uh, clicking uh, a brick three or more maybe four times uh, but else it's uh, too uh, steep and it won't turn or uh, go up or down so two three want to also have a little space uh, under uh, this uh, these working uh, uh, this work brick because uh, there's also as you see as you, uh, as you see there there's going to be a lot of bricks beneath it so you want to have um, some space under it and no there we are well uh, there's a uh, last two buttons you can use and that's Z and V um, you can actually uh, bank uh, this So um, that's how you make um, the first part of your coast. Now let's have, head back to uh, our base. Now comes the part where we make um, these bricks. You want to copy this brick and bring it bring it up to here. No, not there. Here, three blocks on 
this side and two on the outside. Just remember that. And you want to do the same on this side. So if you did it good, you have one little space in the middle. Do it for all of uh, your your uh, track you already made. Well, you don't want to make the whole coaster with your working uh, bricks and then start making uh, your um, your actual conveyors because uh, if uh, it gets stuck you have to do, all, to do it all over again uh, until the, the point where uh, it's stuck. So uh, keep testing, testing, testing so you know uh, it works and um, yeah, so that's what we're now going to do. We're going to copy this stuff. Oops. Be careful to never turn a, a brick because if you do this and then you fall on the ground and you do this, might it might have changed direction. So if you did this, just leave it on the ground. Take a new one. Don't drag it uh, on the floor. Oh. My mouse isn't what it was. Okay, so now comes the lift hill. Um, for a lift hill, there is one special thing you need to do: is to change uh, the friction. Because if the car comes in and it want to go up, um, it just slides back to uh, the base actually because it has no friction on the it hasn't any grip on uh, on the conveyor belts so select this conveyor and I guess uh, friction you need to change that to one or zero I didn't I don't know anymore but we'll see that in a minute maybe two minutes this is this might take a while. Co making coasters takes a, l a long time, so don't expect making making a whole coaster in uh, in one day, or your 24/7 working on this. So that's enough for the, for now. Let's go to the other side. So there we are, and um, you might be thinking, Audi, what is this? This is not a coaster. Well, it isn't now. But now we want to rotate all these little conveyors, and then it will already kind of look like a coaster. So um, you want to uh, quick uh, select your quick rotate tool and um, start clicking on the first two or three. Uh, conveyors. Well, this is the actual uh, point you will be uh, you will be testing this stuff out because it might be the wrong direction. The quick rotate tool is changing is rotating your brick. So I'm making a little staircase and just let yourself go. And you see here it stops. This is a common problem. The conveyor belts are in wrong direction. That means we have to um, change this back. And uh, I guess I didn't know uh, how you change direction with the quick rotator. I think I can do this. Oh, it's. Uh, uh, actually the same as the other rotate tool precise rotate so uh, if I don't know just use uh, J try U 
these three we will be testing and just jump on and see what happens yes it works okay so you want to do this to all of the uh, conveyor belts always leave the last one uh, leave it as it is because you want to continue building and you want to have the right direction so um, if you're looking uh, and you're going to rotate just uh, select your quick rotate and press U just for uh, going to the right direction or else Y if, if it doesn't so now it already starts uh, looking like um, the actual cursor we will be making but I'm not going to finish uh, all this off or maybe I am but uh, we'll see so now comes the part where uh, these things come in the game. I don't know how I call them. But they are not supports, but they actually hold the rail, the railing. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make those now. You want to delete your uh, oh, delete your working bricks. Oh, it did a little duplicate. Okay, until here it's okay. So um, this is all straight, and I'm going to make this bigger until here. Okay, so now you wanna copy this brick just by pressing ctrl c this brick in the middle it's a mesh and just jump make this can collide marked on you want to stand on this thing and press ctrl v oops it's too far. It is too far. Okay, one back. Like this. Now you have the exact same space. So stand behind the brick. No, it's not. <coughs> this is weird. That's good. 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 Okay. So now comes um, a pretty hard part because this is uh, going to be a little turn. Um, well, what I actually did wrong, I deleted these help uh, bricks in the, uh, the turn. So <clears throat> what I uh, want to do is try to repair this, copy this brick right here and just place it next to the other one. can do this and then um, select our quick rotate no precise rotate sorry and press U they are actually turning this to the left but now you see this little thingy here that comes out and we, want, we don't want this so this is one of those last two uh, tools come in, uh, in the game and I'm going to use the 0 0.1 uh, this is a C-frame tool um, for this tool you can uh, C-frame bricks into each other or just uh, move them uh, really uh, precise um, I only forgot the, the no it's I think L, K, J, U, G and H so uh, let me just try yes for G you go to the left H is going to the right K is forward L is backward and U is up L the J is down so I want to use G and move it a bit to the left and maybe one back like this now you don't see any K 
gaps or stuff coming out. So um, you want to copy this brick, and now you you will have to actually put it um, by hand. On. So now it's not um, placed good anymore. Uh, you want to drag it a bit up, and precise rotate, so precise rotate, and try turning it a bit. A bit. I think it's X, yes it's X. Keep pressing until it's uh, in the right direction. Can it past it? Okay, so um, that's how you make um, the actual coaster. So um, let's finish off with uh, just a little test ride. Oh, uh, don't forget to this is yeah. Don't forget to make this uh, unmark can collide because uh, otherwise your car will, won't be uh, doing anything. So let it test and let it stop. So let's go on until you go down. Okay, so this is the part uh, the part where you go down. So uh, going down also means going faster. So and faster means you have to change the script for every single piece you uh, want to place. So I'm copying and pasting this right here, and I want to uh, open the script and change the speed to forty. Copy. Paste, select, open script, 60. Select, open script, 90. And that's fast enough for me. Oh, you see that? You saw that? I went to base plate so I'm leaving that this is the part where people actually uh, forget to change the speed and then they change they have made all the coaster done and then they want to test it out and then they end up uh, with uh, just 10 or 20 speed so um, yeah it's a lot of work change oh this okay now uh, we uh, don't want to copy this anymore but only on this side because we changed some speed on um, this side and we don't know on which brick so you copy just this one to here this one to here so you know uh, on the two sides you have exactly the same speed. Making curses can also be really boring. Whoops. Really boring. You have to take uh, a break like every half an hour, or else you will be just doing uh, a lot of mistakes and getting a lot of stuff like speed and. Uh, Friction, testing it out, and turns, how many clicks you have got, and just that kind of things. So, you want to have a little break every half an hour. Oops. And that looks like this. And I'll just 
uh, uh, select your quick rotate and you don't have to press U anymore because you already did that but just if you want to be sure just press U and then start uh, turning your pieces around oops I hope I did that right or else I am um, in trouble so uh, I'm not going to finish the whole uh, coaster with these uh, little uh, whole uh, thingies that hold the rail. I really don't know how to uh, call these uh, bricks with the meshes. And there I turned this brick by accident. That's no problem. And again, leave the last piece um, as it is. So, I'm going to delete all uh, the working bricks you have been working on because we're not going to uh, uh, finish the whole coaster but just to uh, go testing I want to be sure if it all works or else we'll have to change the friction on the lift hill I know it might be a little boring for, uh, to listen to me it's been a long video. It was a long day for me. It's very late, as you see. This is for the Americans uh, watching this AM. So, um, yeah. I just uh, came back from um, um, a little weekend holiday in France. I um, my friend uh, is working on a plane he's making and uh, yeah we did a little test drive not test fly flight just test drive a little driving on the one way because it's not done yet but uh, yeah it's pretty far done plane we were working on um, so uh, yeah it was pretty fun so this is really ugly actually without the, the supporting rails thingies with the mesh things no name thingies uh, <laughs> but uh, just for testing I wanna test it out um, I wanna uh, pause the game and that means you can't move anymore but uh, you can move your car oops careful and put it on the rails. It fits perfectly. If it doesn't, you did something wrong. Because um, you see in my video, it fits just as it needs to be fitting. So um, open the model and um, select every piece in it. And put it uh, anchored and mark it. Yeah. So. Um, start the game and there goes our car so lift hill is good and there it goes well I made it uh, speed up a bit too fast but uh, now you see it actually uh, worked so that's how you make uh, the coaster yeah and now we've got one problem I always um, uh, <laughs> copy your car you want to um, try out because now we actually have a uh, Card that might be uh, messed up because it's been you know, unanchored. Maybe not. Let's place it back. I'll do uh, a bit longer pieces like uh, these. Trying because I deleted the helping bricks. So I want to look. Oh, how is that possible? It was able to go through with this cable on it. I, call it or I don't know how you want to uh, pronounce it. So, this I rotate. Pressing U. This pressing 8. 
pressing G, click back, edge, G, and L to but this is not in the middle, this is this is in the middle. So I should get one like this. Copy and paste. And do, it, do it like this. Cycle so thing and what was it again? Oh yeah, X. Like this. Well, you don't have to actually add those supports. Uh, you can also do it uh, like uh, you can just try. Uh, copy, paste. What the fuck? There you go. Just do it in the mesh. Uh, you can do it like I did in a Flying Dutchman the remake. You can do it like this. Or well, you have to know because with C print this you can't actually uh, do it anymore. But um, in the beginning you can. Maybe you can C frame it. J and let it go. This must be very boring to you, but this video is so much requested, I had to do it. So, uh, it's also boring for me, boring for you to watch and listen. Listening to, to me is also boring for all the time. And maybe funny if you find me. I hope you don't. No, I'm joke. So, uh, you can also do it like this or more. So, uh, yeah, that's how you make a coaster. And do I have uh, things to say or to show you guys what you see? I have uh, making supports. It's actually not so hard. Just making like this. You put it right under. You go to insert object. Still in the mesh, and uh, in the mesh you change the middle one point uh, one, the middle one uh, from scale. You change that to one point two. That means it goes a little longer, but only by mesh, not by brick. And that means it's now actually uh, sticky to it. And copy paste it. There you go. That's good enough, I think. Yes, so uh, those are my supports. And if you want to, don't have to. If you want to, there's a conveyor, I know, just to show you. Just to make it perfect detailed, you can add something like this to make it really perfect detailed. And that's all I want to show you, I think. And yes. Thanks for watching to this boring and ugly uh, uh, coaster and tutorial, of course. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from it. And um, for all those requesters, don't request request me any coaster videos from now on. Um, so um, I just remembered you can also uh, click. Uh, the middle of the screen to go to my uh, Flying Ditchman uh, on ride uh, on Roblox of course not in real so um, yeah uh, thanks for watching again and uh, please uh, like comment subscribe to my channel um, you help me uh, a lot with that and I will see you in the next video probably tomorrow and I have no idea about what so um, I will see you next time